Whew. It's hot out here. Fish on. I think he's a little bigger, maybe. That's a nice one. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, fisher people? Tomorrow, I'm headed to the KX Sports Show in Minot, North Dakota for a couple of days, but then I have one good day to try to ice fish Lake Sakakawea for the first time ever. Obviously, I've fished a lot in my boat, never through the ice. I wanna to try to get some ice walleyes before I go home to Iowa, before I come back to North Dakota to start the guiding season. So, wish me luck. feels kind of weird because I've fished this lake like 600 times, but never like this before. So it's also like the first time. This has still got ice. Seems like about 20 inches. Welcome back to Lake Sakakawea in March on the ice. What a new experience. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-two inches. <laughs> Just come out and drill a couple holes, and you throw up your hundred and fifty dollar camera, catch a fish, post it on YouTube's, and everybody's happy. That's it. It's Nothing easy. to it. You seen your piece of structure yet? It might be over here. How far is that? 50 feet. 50? That's looking pretty close to the spot, eh? Right at the base of them rocks, kind of? Looks like there's something right, like this junk here, rock pile or something, and then maybe a fish on the edge here. Double drop. Well, we got our spot nailed down. We got a, a nice big boulder on the edge of the drop off with a little point extension. 22-ish feet of water and then I think we're gonna try jigging a little deeper 25 30 here outside the shack in the afternoon but set up for that evening bite see if I can catch my first Sakaka wheel while I threw the ice that's that's the goal ice ice baby it looks good we're seeing some bait fish down there and stuff either perch or smelt or something so it's activity here good structure now we just gotta make it happen they, they ain't biting today, Randy. We just as well go home. Yeah. Just call our quits. It's not even one o'clock. We did not get out here for the morning bite. That's why we're going all in on the night bite. It's daylight savings day. It's too early to get up. Whew. It's hot out here. I'm getting a suntan. It, it's, is it 44 degrees? 44, yeah. It feels a lot warmer in 44. Well, you got the sun coming off the snow, right? I've never ice fished with my shirt off before. Now we got a video. <laughs> Dang it, I just lost him. I'm trying to turn the camera on. <laughs> it was not a big fish. It felt like a perch or a really tiny walleye. Randy's drilling holes, you can't hear me. I just lost a fish, Randy. 
It was little. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That was bigger. Come back. Sean, that's a decent perch. First Sakakawea ice fish. How do you like them apples, huh? Biggest perch I caught all year, too. That's what it is. We're on the spot. Spot on the spot. The seal has been broken. The skunk is off. Look out. It's kind of hard sitting here waiting for fish because I'm thinking if I were in my boat, all of the spots I'd be driving to right now. Exactly. <laughs> There's so many options. There'd be no reason to sit here and wait. No, not in the boat. And hope, you know. Ice is a different, different ball game. I mean, that's... Augers going, we could drill a whole bunch of holes and hole hop and see if we can find some marks. I don't know if there's an afternoon bite here or not though. There might be nothing to do. Got him that time. Where you at? Don't get my deucer. Don't get my transducer. There's a Walter. That's a, uh, that's a good start. Yeah. Choked it. Way choked it. My forceps is in my bag. You got one? Good eater. Hey, sir. He came back. I was worried he wouldn't. I love how I yelled big fish just because it was bigger than the perch. It's not a big walleye. But it's my first Sakakawea. Ice Walter. That's fun. And the interesting thing is where I'm sitting, like the bottom's so soft that I read bottom about a foot higher than what my jig can go. So when the fish came up high, he didn't bite. And when he bit, I dropped it down to where I couldn't see the jig on the flasher, and that's when he bit it. So they might want it kind of tight to bottom currently, at least. Because I couldn't see him on the flasher when he actually and he hit it hard. He hit it on the move. Yeah. If I had the rod in a rod holder, it would have gone in the ice hole. <laughs> Fish on. I think he's a little bigger, maybe. Oh, get out of that deucer. That's a nice fish. I'm going to get my deucer, maybe, without losing it. Mm. You're going to have to pull him up at the same time. It's close. It's close. Nice fish, though. <sighs> there we go. Eat. Releasable. Right in a snout. Maybe a 17 or? What do you think? 17? Yep. 17. Rock on. Not even 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. That's two. I'm back home, baby. Back home doing my thing. Just clobbered it too. Hungry fishes. Walleye's in the afternoon. God, does it get any better than that? I just had to wait for March for maybe the best ice fishing of the season. We'll see what the evening has in store. Jumbo perch. <laughs> About a 10 incher. Another big perch. Boy, that was a light bite. Super light bite. Should have pulled the deucer again. Dummy. Dummy. Got him, though. That was a light, light bite. I was just going like this, and the rod tip just started to get heavy. Didn't crush That's it like nice, his friends. Nice one. A little skinnier, a little longer. Solid fish. Two more from a limit. It's <laughs> <laughs> my best ice fishing of the season. Yeah. Pike? Yeah. <laughs> it just clobbered it. <laughs> and I didn't even have to do anything to get it out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest fish I've ever seen caught through the ice. 
That is a hungry fish. No kidding. All right. Fish acquired. That's a nice one. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, that go down. Oh, Double. Oh my gosh. Double. It oh, you got off? No. Wow. Oh shoot, dude. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need your forceps. Thank you. Oh man. That was fun. I wish both of them stayed on. Well, as you can see, we decided to set up in the shack in our little ledge for the evening. There's fish down there right now, too. Go get them, Randall. That's probably an 18, night. pushing 20. You can measure it right here if you want. Quick measurements. <laughs> got him? Got it. Just got it. 19 some. inches. Oh, I had reeled that one up thinking I didn't have any bait on it. And Randy's got a Cisco after the release. I've been asking for a 19 incher for five hours. Just got him. I guess I should keep it for the pike. I'd love to catch some more of a 19 caliber fish. That was fun. Oh, here's one coming on the bottom. Fast. He's coming out the right side of the screen. He's about under your dead stick area right now. And he kind of disappeared. I don't know if he went down closer. Or... Still somewhat interested. I think it's going to turn around here. I think it's going to turn around. Yep. You got to hit it now. It's either big walleye or it's a pike. I think it's a big walleye. Oh, shoot. You didn't even stop for me. What do you got on? You couldn't Same. Get him to turn He's still right there. He's on the right now. Yeah. He's about ready to leave. Come on. I still got that same buckshot rattle spoon. Mm. Not something he wanted, I guess. That big one makes me wonder if I shouldn't have a different offering down here for the evening. Mm -hmm. Me too. So a fairly small spoon with a metal head. What do you got? It's the gold, hammered gold. Mm -hmm. Tindy jig. I think I'm going to put a white one on. The being so finicky at sunset. Why? Here. You got him. He ain't big. Probably perchalicious. Perch. On a chain wrap. On a big. <laughs> oh. Forgot you had that on. Shadow wrap. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> big bait, big fish. Oh, I got one coming into me on the dead stick. Bite it. I'm at an awkward angle, but bite it. You loser. Ugh. Well, it's easier to catch them in the afternoon. Decent wild. On the jigging route. There you go, Lloyd. There you go. Spit it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank Perfect. You. Maybe we should be using something more aggressive. That's my first walleye of the day. It is 747. Good things come to those who wait. Yes. 16. Yep. All right. Pretty much. Still got it. Looks like a decent fish. It feels better, yeah. Oh, I missed him. That was pretty small. Nice. Yeah. Randy, my man. Wall in number six for the crew. It's 17 and a half. What'd you 17 get and a quarter. Did you go back to your jig? It's the Moon Eye, Moon Eye Jig. I got another perch, I think. 
What are the perch doing here yet? It's too late for you guys. Walleyes only after sunset. Come on. At least six opportunities. Some nice fish looking. He's still like hiding around that rock, but he never crossed it this time. Every once in a while we get a big fish or two to crest over those rocks, go right down the ledge, and not bite. We've definitely seen more bigger fish though in the last hour, just not biters. What they all look like. 22 to 26 inch fish. 15 minutes. <laughs> it was so much better than after. <laughs> I can't get him to eat now. Mm. 15 minutes. We don't have any bigger fish around here right now. If we got that many bait fish. Yeah, that's a big old blob of dinker bait fish. If we can get some fish to move in underneath us, we know they're going to be hungry. Either way, it's been a good day. I caught, I caught some cockawee while I see the ice for the first time. Yeah. Four of them, in fact. Yeah, and I got a couple actually, too. I thought I was going to get skunked. Randy brought it home late. He's got the biggest fish. I have the biggest walleye. I got way more perch, though. Yeah, he did. And I left like three or four of them off camera. I've been hammering perch today, y'all. I got perch on a shadow wrap, you know. That was pretty impressive. And he bit the hook, too. He didn't, the treble, he didn't all, even all snag three him. three hooks. How you manage that, I will never know. How he managed it, I will never know. Prime time has not been so prime. And the funny thing is, regardless of the lake that I go to, I always catch most of my fish on a 132nd VMC buckshot rattle spoon green bait fish color. This lure has caught me 90% of my ice fishing fish. In three years. Just because you have it on your rod 90% of the time. I mean, I always start with it. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd change and try other things, and then... Ooh, we actually got Yeah, it. you got something coming in there. Why don't you catch him? Bite, you bugger. Oh, bye bye <laughs> They don't like the lift. They don't like the shake. They don't like the drop. Oh, there's the big one. What else do you, you have do? have 10 minutes to catch that one right there. Yep. So I did it split into two. He's going the other way over the rocks either way. Shoot. 10 minutes. 9 minutes. Those geese must be 20 feet above us. They're loud. Loud honkers. You, you guys can, hear those geese? You can hear their wings. Yeah. <laughs> 7 minutes. When was the last fish that we caught, do you think? Before 8, probably. Yeah, it was. It was quite a while ago. Maybe even like 7.30. We might be like an hour without a fish. And we've seen more than we saw before. Five. Five minutes. We have five minutes to catch the payoff fish. Four. Three minutes. Boy, pressure is on. The heat is on. The heat is on. Two minutes. The heat is really on. Do you have to land it before 8.45? If we see one at 8.45, I guess we'll wait it out. That'd be a miracle fish. We're waiting for the miracle fish. <laughs> one minute. I am losing faith. Thanks for watching. That's it. Oh, oh, oh.